attention please, there is an Indonesia passengers on flight number GA870 leaving for Egypt. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. What's going on? Welcome to Bali. Before I did anything guys, I just wanted to get the camera out. I didn't know what to fucking say because honestly, I was blown away with this place. I'm paying $100 a night for a two bedroom villa here in Seminyak in Bali. And you know, I, I, <laughs> the taxi driver came to pick me up from the airport. He thought there was four people, put it that way. We've got two king rooms with en suites. We've got this, outdoor fucking al fresco dining area kitchen and right beside me guys is the pool so you can't beat that so uh before i head round to my sister's place and get on the piss i thought i'd show you guys around the the villa because you know i, I really couldn't say how i'm going to feel tomorrow or the next day or the next day so with that said let's start at the start because that's what you normally do Everything you see is included in this villa. So that's the front door, which is quite cool. We've got a little jungle, jungle area there, Balinese style. Turn around, and that is pretty much the villa layout. So you got, so you got the lounge area, TV. There's my shoes. Nice couch. We've got bean bags. We've got pool chairs. Ah. So this. It's all mine, guys. <laughs> Honestly, it's quite funny. It's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous, really. Whether I use it or not, who knows. But, um, like I said before, uh, I'm just about to head off to meet up with my sister and her mates at their villa. Um, I'm taking my alcohol, I'm taking my dignity, and let's hope they both stay intact. Anyways, we move on. So over here we have the kitchen and dining area with six chairs. Oh my god, this is gonna be ridiculous. Where's all my mates? Anyways guys, we've got the fridge, we've got two burners, coffee machine, blender, toaster, fucking pressure cooker, microwave, we've got water. Honestly man, this place is fucking sick. And only $100 a night. So anyways, let's check out the bedroom. Pretty out of its staircase, as you can see. I don't think you'd get away with these in Australia with all the regulations, but uh, what's health and safety in Bali? I don't know. Alright, so this is a little landing area. Down there, as you can see, is a staircase that goes down to that. And that, as a matter of fact, is me. So uh, let me show you my room, and then I'll show you the spare room, which I'll probably go in tomorrow. This is mine, which is just double beds. Well, probably a queen bed, actually, with this wood finish on the bed frame. It's got the same throughout the... Um, Furniture here, safe in there, put my money, my passport, everything in there first, that's an essential guys. It might not look like much, but honestly anything that can fucking save you from losing your shit or getting it robbed, do it. This is it, this is my room, obviously every, well downstairs doesn't have aircon because it's al fresco, but both the bedrooms have aircon, which is cranking right now as you can imagine. And uh, here's the bathroom. Shower. Sink, mirror, toilet. And guys, pretty much the exact same thing in this room. Which, oh actually, there's a TV in here. There's a fucking balcony. Oh. Well, not, not that you can see much, but. 
<laughs> it's Bali, baby. Here we are. Here we are. So, anyways. Fucking hot out there. This is the second room. I wasn't quite sure about the bed spread, but uh, you know what? It's growing on me. And then once again, just the same sort of setup. You've got the toilet, the basin, the mirror, and the shower. So yeah. That, my friends, is what $100 a night can get you in Bali, if you really wanted to. And if you, you know, obviously book early enough in advance and all that stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I'm fucking stoked. It's the second day. Truth be told, guys, truth be told, let me put the camera up here. It's pretty fucking heavy. Um, truth be told... Oh, God, I'm white. Let's fix that up. What was the journey? There's no... I mean, it's... It's no wonder I'm feeling fucking tired this morning because Thursday we left Alice Springs at 5.30 in the morning. We arrived to Darwin at 7 at night, so that's 13 and a half hours. Um, I drove the whole way, which is fine. I'm quite confident in doing that, but, you know, it's, four, it's fucking 14 hours. Uh, after that, we went to that, do the apartment that you guys saw, the two-bed apartment, which was good. We had a bit of a fuck around the night before with the key and everything, which I didn't mention. But because of that, in the morning, uh, we managed to get a late checkout. So we actually stayed at that, that apartment till like 3 or 4 in the afternoon. We were meant to check out at like 11. So once we left, um, we went to one of my sister's mates who lived in Darwin. We went to her place, had a few drinks, uh, got ready for the plane, got all amped for it, got on the plane, got into Bali. Um, I'd probably had about six or seven more drinks and um, I had two more drinks when I got here last night and then I completely passed out so yeah, I probably had about a dozen drinks plus the lack of sleep plus the travel uh, yeah but that's what you expect in it I mean travels travel you know um, whether it's well I really did fuck myself over by driving to Darwin but what you don't realise is that when you try and fly out of Alice Springs anywhere, any major city, it's going to cost at least $300 per way. So we took four people up in the car, it cost $280 for petrol, which was $70 each, instead of $300 each. So, it's definitely a cost saver, it's definitely worth it. Obviously, I've got to drive back uh, into Alice Springs from Darwin when we get back to Darwin, but, you know, I'm not going to think about that right now, I'm going to think about my holiday, I'm gonna think about having fun. I'm just about to head over and catch up with all the others at this amazing fucking villa, which is not even as amazing as the five-star one that we've got for the last four nights that we're here. So I'll be showing you guys all that. Um, come along for the for the for the trip, and uh, I'll be seeing ya. So train hard, eat well. I'll try my best to do the same while I'm here. But if not, just come along for the ride, have fun. That's what holiday's all about. And that's what I'm about to do.